Hey everyone, it's that time of the month again. Today I'm going to show you all the crazy Xbox Live messages that people sent me in the last month. Now the messages from the first episode of this series have all expired, so this is going to be a brand new batch of messages for you guys. So let's see what we got here. Let's go down here. Alright, first we have got a message from Evil Butterfly Man. Let's see what he has to say. Get Avatar Random Chat. It's like a chat roulette on Xbox 360. Lots of fun. You know, from what I've heard about chat roulette, and from, from the things that I've heard that happen on chat roulette, I don't think having it on Xbox 360 is going to make it that much fun. You're probably going to get the same kind of stuff, the same kind of sketchy stuff that you would get on actual chat roulette, but with Kinect instead. So, I'm not really sure about this whole Avatar random chat thing, but if anyone who watches this video wants to try it and just let me know how awesome it is and how fun it is, that would be really cool. Alright, we've got another message from Fearless Sins, who sent me a lot of messages on the last episode, including the one that told me to go to bed. Let's see what he has to say here. Don't let those pinballs defeat you. I try not to let those pinballs defeat me, but sometimes, sometimes those pinballs will just give me those zero bounces, and they'll just start hitting me, and then I never know what to do when the pinball hits me. I try to hit the pinball, then it hits me. It's... A really abusive relationship I have with the pinball. It's terrible. And we've got some messages here from Cybercat2060. I'm assuming he's from the future. Alright, let's see what this says here. If you don't mind me asking, what's your pinball style about? My sync fire style, or my sync fire note style is okay, netting a bunch of top 10 and a few ones, but you crush songs. Granted, before two months ago, I had never played any music games. Actually, that's pretty impressive, considering that he's only played music games for two months and he's already taking number one scores. I think this guy's going to take over the world one day, but yeah, my pinball style pretty much... Actually, I think I responded to his message. Whoa, that was strange. I really should close out of Facebook when I film, but... Yeah, pretty much how pinball works is you kind of just ignore notes once that pinball gets going. And the more notes you ignore to chase the pinball, the better you do, because Blitz is about hitting pinballs. That is, unless you're lighting every instrument on fire. You want to either ignore the instruments or light them all on fire so that they're unplayable. You never want to actually play the instruments. So I hope that answered your question. And we got another message. I only ask out of respect for your game. The game. Alright, I think I sent something to him and he responded to it. I know, I read it. I just need to practice. I suppose because I'm horrible at it. Hmm. I want to say he's horrible at it if he's getting number one scores, but let's see what else he has to say. I'll put my sink against anyone in the world, but when it comes to pinball, I look like a girlfriend who wants to play just because you're into it. You know, all shitty and stuff. The st st stuff. My, I guess my questions are: What controller style do you like, or what controller style do you use? It would appear that freakish would be best suited, but that's just a guess. Um, pretty much as far as controller style is concerned. Uh, again, I, I do personally use freakish. You can you can easily tell if you pay attention to the hands views in any of my videos. I'm always hitting the notes of the triggers and going crazy with the um, analog sticks to switch lanes. But I know people who use the um, the regular control scheme and they've been pretty successful with it. I think Malkyrie King and Zaychal, two of the top players on PS3, both use the standard control style. I'm not 100% certain on that, but I don't think they use Freakish. But I know Master Mo, who pretty much invented flame note juggling in, in a sense, he, he um, used Freakish for a while, or, well, he used Freakish until he quit, and that was pretty much all he used, but 
I mean, either normal or freakish. I mean, I, I play on freakish, but in Guitar Hero terms, that would be kind of like playing on lefty flip. It's mainly just a matter of personal preference. I don't really know about the other two control schemes. Um, typewriter? I, I, I mean, I, I haven't seen anyone really utilize typewriter to its full potential. I don't really know what its full potential is, but um, it may be useful. And the, the cool thing about typewriter is that is that um, it maps the controls for hitting notes to A and B, so you could actually use typewriter with any kind of controller. You could literally, like I demonstrated in one of my videos, play Rock Band Blitz with your Guitar Hero controller, although it's kind of kind of difficult to do. But yeah, you can just hit green and red on the guitar controller. I think you can even do it with your drum controller if you have if you have drums. Just hit um green and green and red to hit notes and then you can hit the blue drum to activate power ups and then it just gets it just gets crazy. And then the yellow drum's just sitting there being useless. But yeah, I use freakish. Let's get to the next comment here. And again, I'm just trying to befriend and learn from the best. I don't mean to sound like I'm on your nuts, but your game is pretty sick, my friend. Well, actually, the funny thing is, he didn't sound like he was on my nuts until he said that he didn't mean to sound like he was on my nuts. So now it sounds like he's on all the nuts. Like, not just my nuts, but everyone's nuts. He has all the nuts, and he's also from the future, so... He knows where all the future nuts are at. He might have brought some nuts back from the future. And we have a message from Fearless Sins here. Flame notes or pinball? I'm pretty sure I've answered this question before. Everyone always asks me whether, whether to use flame notes or pinball, and pretty much that just depends on the song. But sometimes you just want to light every instrument on fire, but Sometimes just the instruments just get too fast, and then that's when you gotta pull out that pinball, because sometimes you just can't light everything on fire. I mean, you'll try to. You, I mean, you could spam your whole controller and just... Then... But then the flame notes just break. So, I mean, sometimes you just gotta use a... Well, you can't really use a mixture of both, but you just gotta play around with them. Just light people's balls on fire. That's what I recommend. And we have a message from Big Bad Kenny69. Message to all Rock Band 3 friends. My guitar broke. I have a shitty Beatles guitar, but it's not working out so well. If any of you have a Rock Band 2 guitar or a Les Paul World Tour guitar you're willing to sell, hit me up. As for playing, I won't be on much. Keep rocking. Oh, that's sad that he won't be able to be on. Um... My World Tour guitar, which is the one that I use, it actually isn't really that good of a controller. It has a squeaky, terrible strum bar, and I somehow full game FC'd Rock Band 3 Extra Bass with it. But it's still a bad strum bar, I swear. But, ah, man, it's sad that I won't see Big Bad Kenny 69 on Rock Band 3 very much. I always like Big Bad Kenny 69 playing Rock Band 3 for some reason. Well, let's look at the next message here. We've got a message from Raven with a couple of vertical lines in the middle of the name there. Oh, I just opened up my uh, just opened up my CD drive. Though. Didn't mean to do that. Teach me your tricks on Blitz, Master, please. I suck. Um, let's see. What are some good tricks? I've already gone over Shockwave, Runaway Notes, and Super Drums. But, you know, sometimes the secret to getting the most points is using super keys on a song with no keyboard bar, and then just using that power-up. But, it's really hard to unlock that keyboard track. You, you have to play the anti-keyboard. And when, you, when you've got a good anti-keyboard solo going, that's when you want to, you know, light the anti-fire, then bounce the anti-pinball. And then once you have a good amount of anti-matter in your Rock Band Blitz, then you'll get... Well, you'll get negative anti-points, and that'll give you a lot of positive points. It's kind of hard to explain, but that's pretty much how you win. Yeah. Let's see. We've got another message from Fearless Sins. May I offer 
offer you a 48 hour Xbox Live membership. He's asking me if he can offer me a 48 hour Xbox Live membership by offering me a 48 hour Xbox Live membership. But yeah, um, I would be able to accept that offer at some point. It's just I'm usually pretty busy and it's hard for me to find a good two-day window for me to really take advantage of that and, you know, put something together to spend time playing Rock Band with all of you subscribers, all of you who subscribed and watch my videos. But if, you know, if, if anyone wants to kind of plan out a Rock Band night and, you know, we could just play Rock Band 3 and just have a good time and all that fun stuff, then I will probably accept that 48 hour Xbox Live offer, but I've just been pretty busy lately, so I just want to make sure it's at a time when you know, I'll have a lot of time to play and that I can really devote two days just to playing Rock Band with you all. Alright, another message from Fearless Sins here. Alright, I'll give it to you when you're ready. As SantaBot once said, it's always better to give than to receive. He gives gifts to little children. He told me this. And we have a message from Tacky Anteater. Ooh, well, let's see what this is. It's Rainbow Dash. Oh wait, there's a message here. I got number one on six songs. One, FNM from Out of Nowhere. Two, Black Crows, Remedy. Three, Hush Puppies, You're Gonna Say Yeah, Rock Band Network. Four, Johnny Cash, Fulton Prison Blues. Five, Hives, Die, All Right. Six, SDRE, Seven, Rock Band Network. I dare you to get number one. Well, I would probably go for number one in some of those songs if I did own any of them, but most of this list, I, I don't even know what half these songs even are, to be honest, but I don't know. If I, if I do ever get any of those songs, I will go for number one on them, but until then, you can have those scores for now, I guess. Got another message on from Tacky Anteater here. Never mind on the SDRE song. Get number one on Trixie by Jeff Burgess. All my bro hoofs if you do. Slash parentheses. Hmm. That is a compelling argument. I definitely should get number one on this song. Just for the bro hoofs. Hmm. Maybe I'll download that song eventually. Bro hoofs are a very valuable currency. Oh, we've got another message from Tacky in here. Forgot to mention those six songs I'm number one in are in Blitz, not Rock Band 3. Uh, that would have been awkward if I downloaded those songs for Blitz and he was actually talking about getting number one on easy vocals or medium bass keyboard drums. But, well, it's good to know that those number one scores are in Blitz. Good luck and happy pinballing. I usually forget to smile when I hit pinballs. I should do that more often. All right, we've got another message from Tacky Anteater. Congratulations on the 2112 number one runs on Rock Band Blitz. And thank you for that, Tacky Anteater. That was, oh man, those are some pretty good runs though. I definitely didn't think that would actually happen, especially with the full song. I, the Bandmate Flame run I did on that, it was actually on my first try of the day, I think. Yeah, yeah, it was. And I thought I was actually going to beat my score on it, but then I just kind of got bored and played other songs instead. Oh, let's see what we got. Oops. I accidentally deleted it. Well, it was basically a message from Sage Stunt saying that he changed his name from Sage Stunts to something else. Or Super Stunts, or Super X Super Stunts, something like that. I need to not hit the wrong buttons. I accidentally, I accidentally hit a blast note, or no wait, I, I hit rocket ship. I hit rocket ship and blew up the message, I'm sorry. 
I'm sorry, Sage Dots. I accidentally deleted your message. There's there's really no confirmation for that. Oh, well, all right, but I've got a message here from Proven Thrower Two. He's proven his ability to throw. And apparently he's the second one to be able to throw things, so that's pretty cool. Dude, I want to ask you a question. Is Rockman 3 worth buying, according to you? I'm thinking of buying it because I enjoy Blitz. What do you think? I think you should buy Rockman 3. You definitely need to buy it right now. I mean, I don't know why you're waiting to buy Rockman 3, but you've got to buy it now. you got to buy every last instrument in the game and just... I don't know, just go on eBay, find some old used Explorer guitar, just some random mic, um, just find just one drum, just just a single drum, just find a red pad to beat on, you know, find, find a rock, find... Uh, you, you definitely need a lighter so you can light your actual plastic instruments on fire, obviously, because that's how you win in Rock Band 3 as well. And you definitely want some balls to simulate the pinball action. But, yep, you definitely want to buy Rockman 3. And we've got another message from Proven Thrower 2. This might be his rebuttal. But I don't have instruments. I think... Uh, we'll just get instruments, you know. Wait a minute. I think I know what happened to his instruments. I think he had instruments, but he lit them all on fire, but he lit them all on too much fire, so now he doesn't have instruments. So you always want to have a fire extinguisher handy when you're playing any rock band game, because sometimes that fire can go out of control. I know I've had a couple houses burned down because of that. They didn't know it was me, though. Alright, we've got a message from Fusix here. Message to all friends, friendless cleanup, removing people that do not play slash invite slash talk to me. Don't take anything personal, just making room for friends I actually talk to on my second account. Add me back if you feel you shouldn't have been removed, and I'll fix it if needed. And, just because I can, am I still friends with Fusix? Yes! I'm still friends with Fusix! Even though he's still beating me in the number of the beast, I'm still friends with him! Okay, well, let's just keep reading messages here. That's good to know. Alright, we've got a message from Shaman Says. I don't know if he's related to Simon, but I guess we'll find out. Oh, Jesus! How are you so good in RB Blitz? Question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark, XD. How am I so good in Rock Band Blitz? I, I, I've been trying to answer that question myself for the last year. Pretty much how it happened was, I was just like, what's this Rock Band Blitz game? It looks easy. It's like Guitar Hero, but with two notes instead of five. So then I picked up my controller... Uh, like, when I saw Rock Band Blitz was first announced, I just looked at it and kind of laughed at it. Like, this is probably going to be easy. I, It's perfectly designed, so I can just play with the triggers. So I immediately started on Freak Issue. I was like, wow, okay, so I just use this to hit triggers here. I'm going to stop before I accidentally block communications from Shaman Says. But, yeah, when I first started playing Blitz, it was actually kind of funny. I actually used the terrible D-pad on the Xbox 360 controller here to switch lanes at first. And then it was when I transitioned from from using the D-pad to switch lanes to using one thumbstick to switch lanes to using two thumbsticks to switch lanes that my skill pretty much just exponentially increased from there the more buttons I started using. And, you know, I, I occasionally even use the bumpers and the triggers, a combination of the two, either when my hands get tired or I'm doing one of those really weird parts on drums where it just floods at you or one of those guitar solos where it's doing, doing one of those. No, I'm not blocking communications. But, yeah, pretty much you just, just use your whole controller. Just... Invent ways to use your controller without 
making your controller drop. That was actually one of my biggest problems when I first learned how to juggle. I actually asked Master Mo at one point, how do I do this without dropping my controller? And he told me that he has no problems with dropping his controller and I just started thinking for a while, well, how do I do this? And then, I don't know, I just kind of eventually figured it out. I just stopped dropping my controller and throwing it across the room. Well, I still throw my controller at the wall and put holes in it sometimes, but that's irrelevant. But I think that might answer the question. Alright, we've got a message here from Trolling Life. He trolls life itself. What a meta troll. Your videos are awesome. Keep up the good work, man. And you keep being in my videos because my videos are awesome. I think. Oops. We've got a message from Puff. Oh man. Okay, this looks like... Alright, alright. I have no idea what that A, how you're supposed to pronounce that A with the the oval above it. I don't even know if that's supposed to be an oval, maybe it's a circle, but I'm going to read this message now. Hala Ketchup Yoshi, I'm from Sweden! It's from Sweden! Sweden! Only three people, or two or three people will even know what that's even a reference to, but it's from Sweden. I'm from Sweden and play rock band a lot. Blitz, three. I see that you're number one in a few Blitz songs, and my goal is to beat you. What do you say? Halsningar. Fluttershy. Oh, God. Fluttershy has challenged me to a duel. I accept your challenge, but be warned, I have Blue Eyes Ultimate Flame Dragon Magician Pikachu in my deck. I think that's a good card. It's probably the best card in the game. And we've got a message from Sheep in a Suit. Mmm, donuts. I'm not sure what donuts have to do with anything, but they seem oddly relevant right now. And as you can see, his avatar is, in fact, a sheep in a suit. And we've got a message from TBB Strudlock. I think that's the same person from earlier with the, or isn't that the same person from earlier? I don't even know anymore. But there, but yeah, there's a rainbow dash right there. Are there any songs you don't own? Please tell me you didn't pinball to the top for obfuscation. Don't put this on you. Oh. <laughs> Whoops. I'll just edit this part out. <laughs> Uh, sorry guys, uh, I had to edit this message out. It, at the end of it, it said don't put this on YouTube. So, I'm just going to skip over this. But, the message pretty much... Oh, wait, that was the last message. Okay. Well, that's cool. So, yeah, those are some of the crazy messages that people have sent me on Xbox Live. Don't put this message on YouTube. <laughs> See, the thing is, I almost didn't notice that, and I was just about to put it on YouTube anyway. So, that's pretty cool. It's good to notice. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. You must be an Xbox Live Gold member to join an Xbox Live party. So yeah, with all of that being said and done, I think I am going to play some Rock Band Blitz now. So, I will see you guys, see all of you everyones, in my next Rock Band Blitz video. Or just in my next video in general. I will see you all then. I will see, I see you, I see you then. I think Cybercat's trying to beat me with his time machine futuristic skills. Alright. Time to get blitzing. <laughs>